I am somewhat of an app connoisseur or an application junkie, whatever you want to call me. I love trying new apps. I incorporate a lot of apps into my workflow and a lot of them are very important to me. However, there are a couple apps that really stand out as critical to my workflow. Unclutter is definitely one of those apps. I use it so often for so many different little things throughout my day that when I don't have it available to me, I definitely can tell. It's a really simple utility that has a couple really important uses and I think you're gonna love it. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer and take a look. So to get there, it's on my desktop. So you just go up to the top and you just scroll down and it reveals three different panels. Right over here on the left hand side is the clipboard history. And this is your typical clipboard manager. If you're not using a clipboard manager, you definitely should be. There are a lot of standalone options for free out there that you can definitely try. I often get the question, what does a clipboard manager do exactly? People don't realize that they have a need for a clipboard manager. So let me go ahead and do a really quick example. So let's just say I am writing this blog. So I'm doing some uh, additional research on the blog and I come across this great point right here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that so we're able to either right click, uh, copy, or we can just do the copy and paste. So command C, and then we're gonna come over here and we're just going to go ahead and paste it right in there. And make sure we're using citations because no one likes a plagiarizer. So this is good, we're gonna save this document and now we're done writing this blog for now. So we're gonna go ahead and close out and I don't need this research anymore. So I'm gonna close out of that. Now let's say an hour later, I am writing an email to my team. And I wanna give them some different research that I found that will help them prioritize their tasks. So I am going to go ahead and copy this whole paragraph right here and come over to my email and go ahead and paste that in place. And then I remember the research that I just did for my blog, but I copied it an hour ago and I pasted it an hour ago and now I've copied this since. So now if I wanna paste that new paragraph, I either have to open my Word document or find the, the web article that I was just reading, and it just becomes very much of a pain. With a clipboard manager, that isn't a problem. Again, I'm gonna come to the top, scroll down, and right here is the paragraph that I copied before, so I'm just gonna go click that, and now it's copied to my clipboard again. So I can go ahead and paste that right there. So without a clipboard manager, you can only retain one copy on your clipboard. So Unclutter does a great job of managing that clipboard. You can set it to have as many as I think 50 uh, different clips and you can also favorite some things. So for instance, if you're, if you're building a website and you have a color palette, you, know, you can save that hex code and it will automatically give you a, a, a palette preview here. But say you're building a website and you're going to need this color very often. What you can do is just hover over that and come to the star and then it's gonna add it to your favorites list. And to see all of your favorite things that you will paste often, you just click on this star up here. And here are the, the different things that you favorited that yes, I'm going to use this often. So it might be an entire color palette. If you're building a website or doing some graphic design for a specific brand, you can favorite all of those color palettes and they can just be right here. You don't even need to scroll through looking for them. So this is the clipboard history. This is the clipboard manager that is built right into Unclutter. This next panel over is the files panel. And this is a really easy drag and drop interface. So let me go ahead and demo this. I'm going to be writing an email to my team and I'm going to basically just put a photo in there to provide some motivation for the day. So let's go over to my browser. And of course I have a bunch of cat pictures here. This cat looks happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And this is Pexel, so I could download it. But for sake of example, I can right click, save as. It's gonna open my finder. I'm gonna tell it where to save it. And that's certainly something you can still do, but if all you need is just this photo one time, you don't need it any other times, what you can do with Unclutter is just click on that and drag it to the top of your screen. It's gonna drop down this panel and just drop it right here in files. And you see it adds it right there. Now I can go back to my email. I have some motivation here and I'm just going to pull that right into my email and drop it in place. So just like that, I can save files. And pictures are just one of the use cases. You can save audio files, video files, any file that you have, you can just drag that up. And it works as well if you're in Finder. Scroll down and you can drop it right in there. So the files panel is again, one of those things I use every single day on a very consistent basis. And I don't realize how much I use it until I don't have unclutter on one of my computers. 
And then this next section over here is the notes panel. There are times when I'm on a Zoom call or I'm on a phone call, or maybe I'm just going throughout my day and I realize I have an idea and I don't wanna lose it. I can come over to Unclutter and I can just drag down from the top and I can just start writing notes. And I can write down a phone number, I can write whatever I want just to get out of my head onto paper. And you know, this isn't a full blown note taking app. There are certainly a lot of apps out there that, that can do that. This is just a place to really put your thoughts down very, very quickly. Another use I have for it is when I'm when I'm writing an email or when I'm writing a, a text message or LinkedIn message, whatever it may be, I'm petrified of actually doing that within the application itself because so many times I've accidentally hit send or hit enter and it sends it without me wanting it to send. So what I do now, I come into Unclutter and I compose whatever message I have, I compose it right here in Unclutter. Then I can just copy that, paste it into my LinkedIn or to my text message or email and I can be confident that I'm not accidentally going to send it too early. So again, this is Unclutter. It's in the Mac App Store. And they also have a website that gives you a little bit more demonstrations of how you can use it. But it is one of the apps that I just cannot live without.